it's interesting, really, how over the years almost all of these competitions held to find the band of the future, nationwide with heats all over the place and that kind of thing, judged by lots of famous artists and drummers and things like this, um, almost always come up with turkeys. It's a curious thing. I can't remember of any band that's ever actually gone that way that ever was in any way interesting at all. Deaf School, I think, won one of them once, and they weren't too bad, but that's almost the only one. EMF, anyway, the best band in the Battle of the Bands, or the best one on the Battle of the Bands compilation LP, anyway, and that's called Antebellum, a bit 1980, I suppose, but jolly enough. I've got a poster advising me that at Lanchester Poly, which I think is in Coventry, uh, The Silence and six other bands are playing tomorrow night for only 20p, which has to be the bargain of the week, I think. And uh, it's a week from tonight, it's Claire of Altered Images' birthday, but the present which I'd bought for her will remain gathering dust on the shelf. This is Jeepster from the band. Come to my side, my angel, all is forgiven. That's Altered Images and Jeepster, and the original is ten years old this year, you know. Yeah, that's Frank Frost on Sun Records, as distributed by Charlie, and from an LP, Hey Boss Man, pocket full of shells, and that wasn't seashells, but I mean shells that you put in guns, I don't know. I was in the army too once. I should... Anyway, altered images. On tomorrow night's programme, incidentally, the Lucys make their debut, and we play an old, obviously an old, penetration session. But at tonight it's altered images, and this is A Day's Wait. <laughs>
Altered images, bless them, and that's called a day's wait. W-A-I-T, but on the subject of the other kind of weight, I mentioned a week or so ago that I'd reached um, well, the most weight that I'd accumulated over about, uh, since about ten years ago, 13 stone five. And you'd be thrilled, I don't doubt, to learn that since then I've managed to shed five pounds of this. I still look fairly revolting, though, it must be said. The main reason I'm doing it is because, of course, on the Radio 1 Fun Week, Radio 1 Stanley are going to be turning out at Meadowbank Stadium to play a team of somebody. I don't know who it is we're playing, actually, to be honest with you. And uh, it's so embarrassing, because they always give you shirts the same size. You get Peter Powell with room for about three other people in it there and I have to slit mine down the sides. I've gone waddling out looking like the Michelin man. Most embarrassing. Anyway, I discovered my scrap of paper with requests on it and as I said, these are deeply and desperately irksome but the Scritty Politi track I played earlier on was for Smudge of TRC Rotherham and the Gang of Four track for Dave, Davey and Jim and Jackie. So now you know. Electric guitars and health! Lots of it. And that's pretty much Mikey Dread from a 12-inch on Dread of the Controls label. Altered Images got one or two gigs coming up. On the 17th, it's Claire's birthday, of course. And then on the 18th, which is a Wednesday, they go to the Warehouse Liverpool. On Thursday, the 19th, Fan Club Leeds. The 24th, it's the 100 Club in London. The 25th, the Cedar Ballroom in Birmingham. And then on the 27th, Rafters in Manchester. This is called Idols. <laughs> How could anyone not love them to pieces? That's Altered Images, and it's called Idols. This next is for Gary, Stewart, Kez, Brett, Toy, Newton, Brandon, Smudge, Hovis, Luby, and the Kings Lynn Punks. And there was a further message for the same Kings Lynn Punks from Zilla and Jane. I don't know. Vital. This is called Real Life. Who needs that? <laughs>
Good night, altered images. That's the last from them tonight, and it's called Midnight.